Hello again, everybody. This time in training tips, we're going to look at some simple ways to make sure that your learners feel comfortable in the training room. And how do we do that? We do that by setting ground rules. So a good question, why do we set ground rules? And I love this quotation. What if you told your learners today that they could have discovered for themselves? That they could have discovered for themselves. It's very important especially as adults, that we identify information all by ourselves, because then, haha, ha, we remember it. So we need to be sure that we're going to set our rules to help our learners to discover for themselves. And there are loads of ways of doing this. Ground rules, of course, are sets of rules or behavioral guidelines to make sure that everybody remains on track during the training. And one of the tools that we have at Great Training is a set of signposts cards. There are 50 of them. They look like this, and each card has a picture of a signpost on it. The stop sign is one of my favorites. If you think about how this works on the road, the signpost stop tells you to halt when you get to a stop sign. And of course, Many law-abiding citizens do that, many don't. How would this work in the classroom? Well, if you give this to your learners and you say, what do you think we should stop doing in the training room during this course? Maybe one of the things that they could come up with is, let's stop continually looking at our cell phones to pick up the latest news, or let's stop interrupting, or let's stop putting up barriers to new ideas. Okay, so there are lots of exciting ways that you can invite your learners to set their own ground rules. Here's another one, a simple two-way street. Typical uh, ground rule that often comes up with this one is let's discuss things. And the third one, which is really fun, is this magnet. Be a magnet for new ideas. Encourage others to talk and to draw new ideas to themselves. Those are some of the different ideas that we can have for ground rules. Next time, we're going to look at a different tool that you can use to set ground rules.